Good evening, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Right, so you might be looking at the current Rust store, which we can see right here on scmem.app. This is the store section, to be precise. And from what we can see here, with all the estimated sales, you might look at the likes of the Space Foil hoodie and pants, and you might be looking at these and thinking, hmm, they haven't really sold that much. They don't appear to be that much in demand. Surely these two skins aren't going to be very profitable in the future. Well... I am going to talk in this video and I'm going to explain that you shouldn't rule out a skin like skins like these immediately without knowing the potential or rather the potential future it could have. All right. So we're going to use an example. We're going to be discussing the potential positives. There can be potential negatives as well. But the main point is don't judge it when it's only just started. So let's just give it all the context and then we'll roll into the explanation. So yeah, right now, three days in, we've only got 6,500 sales each at, by the looks of it. But Space Foil has had a bit of a weird start. Like it initially started off back in 2021, two years ago, with a random Space Foil door. And then two years later, Garage Door was accepted. And then quite some time later, we've now got the hoodie and pants. Now... If you are aware of everything I talk about, especially in regards to investing, when it comes to the likes of core pieces, which I refer to as uh, the skins that are hoodie and pants, tier two armor and tier three armor, they tend to be the most in demand and the best skins in terms of making profits. Now, what I'm trying to get across is we've started off with the hoodie and pants, a core piece. And in the future, one might hope that we might see some more space foil skins being made we might hope to see more core pieces to be specific but you might sit and say well if, it, if more skins is it really going to help out these skins that much they're low in demand it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so i have a very good example to show to all of you and that is the low poly set so the low poly set came out last year in July of 2022. Well, it initially started off with this a random furnace, which was accepted back in 2021. But then the skin creator thought, you know what? I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to make a clothing and armor set. And that started off with hoodie and pants. Ha, huh, funny coincidence. So these two skins came out and sold at $2.49 and they sold like 12,000, 13,000 each. And yeah, it had a decent amount of sales. But after that, there was no interest. People didn't seem to like the gimmick. And these skins ended up struggling. But the thing is, though, a month later, we saw the likes of the Tier 3 armor being introduced. And then a month after that, the Tier 2 armor appeared. So I've got something to show you. As you can see here, this is the low poly hoodie. In current times, it's not looking super great. But we're not talking about the current times. We're talking about back then. Back then. So what we're here to show you is what happened when we saw Tier 3 and Tier 2 being accepted. And if we look at the sales history, you might notice a special spike in price. What's this? Well, let's go back to the past and get a good idea of what was going on here. So, as I said, back in July of 2022, the likes of Hurting the Pants were accepted. And then eventually, about a week or so later, they became marketable. But like I already mentioned, there wasn't that much demand for them. And the price did go down. And it went as low as around $1.20 each. Not very good. However, what's this? A spike in demand? It tripled in price? What's going on? What did I say earlier? The tier 3 was accepted. Yes, when a core piece is accepted, if there are any other pre-existing core pieces, they are likely to spike in demand and spike in price. So here's the point where we refer back to the likes of Space Foil. Just because right now it doesn't have a lot of demand, if we do see the other core pieces potentially appearing, that being tier 2 armor or tier 3 armor, we will very likely see the exact same situation like this. There will still be a spike in demand and a spike in price if we see new skins being added to the collection or make more more specifically a core piece so yeah low poly collection wasn't very in demand suddenly we see new pieces being accepted spike of demand spike of price and then after that you know what the tier three came out for a while you know it was cool it was nice but people kind of started to lose interest again it went down in price again oh guess what tier two appears <laughs> doubles in price again so here's the point with the likes of our hoodie and pants here, if you managed to sell either here or either here, you'd have made a fairly decent profit. You'd have been quite happy there. And now you understand 
about the potential opportunities. And I can show you with the likes of Pants here as well, currently selling at $1. If we scroll down, look at the history, same thing, spike in demand, spike in demand. Yeah, 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 very nice, very cool. Do you see that? Very cool. So we're, let's go back over to here. Space for a hood in Pants. It has just started. And yes, right now, it doesn't look, it does not look like it has a lot of sales. But you know what? I can look at that in other way. It also looks like there isn't a whole bunch of them being bought in excess. And if you are aware, oversaturation can be a problem when there's too much uh, stock in comparison to demand. But you know what? Everyone that bought these very likely bought them because they're somewhat interested in them. I don't really see signs of, being, uh, of people buying a whole bunch of these with the pure intent to sell, which would be a good thing. Um, when there's less of that, there's a much better potential that we could see a better rise in price, uh, more profits, delicious profits. <laughs> so the next question is then, all right, Pedge, what now? Well, you should always, always, always double check and see, has the skin creator been asked, are you going to continue the set? And how might you do that? Well, with these being accepted very recently, what the, the best thing you should do is go to their workshop pages and then go to their comment section and see if anybody asked. And if and if no one's asked yet, you be the first one to ask. Let's go see what's happened. Perfect. See that? Are you going to add the armor? Hi. Yeah. So that is a positive for us. This guy's not very happy, is he? Well, you know, doesn't matter. There's always an opportunity. There's always a potential to make a profit. You might be angry that we didn't see the likes of Whiteout and Elite Crate this week, but if you're like me, you've had enough experience and knowledge. Let's let's forget about it. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Look, you'd have you'd have enough experience to understand that just because this ends up taking that place doesn't necessarily mean that with right now with the lack of sales is doomed. No, 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 no. As I've pointed out, if we do see the likes of the uh, space foil uh, um, tier two and tier three armor appearing, you know, in the workshop are actually being accepted. We will still see a spike in demand. But based on what we saw with the likes of the um, hoodie and pants, it took a while for this to actually get accepted, didn't it? So my first thoughts are maybe we just stick with a bioder in these. Like we saw the likes of the uh, uh, the um, low poly hoodie and pants go down to about a dollar twenty each, didn't they? Maybe we might want to do the same thing with these. We don't know how quick Mr. Redrex, the skin creator, might be in making these new skins, but him confirming that leads me to believe that he's very likely going to potentially be doing this over the weekend. So that means you also need to be keeping an eye on the likes of the workshop. And away we go. Quick refresh. What do we see? Uh, I don't see any low uh, yeah i don't see any space for skins just yet but you know what we, the exact same thing that we talked about here kind of does apply to the gold poncho as well this was a very random goofy skin and you know people looked at it and we thought okay it's gold but is that it but same thing applies look at the workshop look at the comments did anybody ask if he's going to continue the set yep and he responded, yep, and guess what? You just probably saw that, didn't you? Hide, shirt, and pants have been submitted. So if you're worried about the likes of the poncho, well, we potentially could see some more primitive golden skins being made and, well, more specifically, being accepted. I'm not 100% sure if Face Punch will go all the way and allow a full golden primitive set, but the point still remains. There is a potential for it. So remember, you've got to constantly keep an eye on the, uh, the workshop and whatnot. You've got to be constantly aware of what the skin creator's intentions are. So now that we've given you an insight in, with the example of the low poly set and for a positive outlook, we could also potentially bring you the potential negatives. So space for your set. Let's just close this and take a look. It is a fair bit shiny. I don't imagine it's going to be super great in terms of wanting to be camouflaged. Maybe the desert environments could be helpful, but again, it's a bit shiny, isn't it? But anyway, uh, point is we have had some other shiny sets before, like the winter hoodie and pants. This sold in a rust, for, a rust store for like $2.49. Here is its history. And uh, yeah, $2.49 and then it went down, up a little bit down, up a little bit down, up a little bit. It's never really gone above that $2.49 price. And then when we look at the likes of the winter pants, scroll down, what do we see? Um, down, up a little bit down, up a little bit down, up a little bit. Yeah, 
So I should also quickly point out that the likes of the Winter Collection that you see here never had Tier 2 or Tier 3 armor made. So it kind of never really went above its Rustor price again, kind of never really went anywhere. That's a bit unfortunate. Now, the exact same thing also applies to the likes of the Nitrogen hoodie and pants. These never got Tier 2 or Tier 3 armor made uh, and being accepted more specifically. And well, yeah. Kind of uh, never really got anywhere, unfortunately. It is a bit awkward, but it is what it is. So just kind of struggled pretty much all the time. So this could potentially be a unfortunately bad future that the space foil could lead towards. But like, I, I should point out, with the likes of the Nitrogen set, this sold 20,000 plus, right? Uh, Winter sold like 15,000 plus, if I can recall. But this back over to here, remember what I said? We've only got 6,500 sales at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if we potentially get to maybe just around 10,000. I would have reason to believe that the only people who have bought are the people that actually bought this to actually use it. And at the moment, I don't see any clear signs of people who bought them with a pure intent to sell the excess purchases. So we might still be somewhat okay. We've got a few more days of this being in the Rust store. We've got a couple more days of people submitting skins to the workshop as you would know, the routine. So be a little patient. We'll see what happens next. But learn from the past. Learning from the past can help you out a lot. Just because these skins at the moment don't look as if they have a lot of demand doesn't necessarily mean they are always going to have low demand. There can always be something that could influence to potentially bring these to have loads of attention, loads of demand, and a spike in price. Sound good? All right, so... Just be aware of all the potential context. Always try your best to be aware of what the skin creator is doing. And when you see what's potentially on the horizon, like maybe over the course of the next couple of days, we actually do see Space 4 Tier 2 or Tier 3 appearing, then you can start anticipating. And when it does appear, hopefully you would have attacked it and hopefully you would have made a whole bunch of delicious profit. Sounds good? Right. So I hope that was helpful. And uh, I should just quickly point out, every Tuesday uh, or Wednesday, I will be uploading the likes of my Rust Workshop skin checks, so please consider watching that. It's always very nice to be aware of what's potentially on the horizon, and I always make a video showcasing all the newest submissions. So, yeah, cool. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that was helpful, and best of luck to all of you. Best of luck to the Space Full Hoodie and Pants collection. It is abnormal. We don't need to rush into buying it, but, you know, we still have to figure out maybe a good buy order price and whatnot. So, yeah, cool. Catch you later. See you and goodbye.